and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the best players at every position in Madden right now. Now, guys, the Harvest promo out, all the new legends out, some NFL 100 players out. I think this is the perfect time to go over the best players at each position right now. Clearly, I know you guys love to hear this because a lot of I'm all the questions I get are who the best quarterback, who's the best running back, who's the best cornerback, who should I choose from here? I think this video will clearly go over every position and who I think is the best, and I'll even give you guys a little feedback on why they're the best because I know you guys probably want to know why, not just because I said so. So I'm going to get into this as quickly as possible because this is going to be a pretty long video more than likely considering how many positions there are. And guys, I'm going to go quickly over linemen obviously because the offensive linemen, there's typically like one top option and there's not much there's not much reason to say it, but just to let you guys know, I'm going to keep that one quick because it's, it's going to be boring if I go over linemen for five minutes. But this is going to be a pretty fun, I usually like making this video, it's pretty fun. I should, this should be my fourth video for the day guys, so I should have been pumping out content for you guys. So hopefully you guys watch all those videos. If you haven't already make sure to go back back to those videos after this video of course and go show some support go drop a like go watch the video and if you guys haven't already on this video smash that subscribe button come join the family we're 200 subscribers away from 13,000 subscribers you guys have been going crazy all you guys who have joined the family thank you so much for joining this week like you guys are making this the dream a reality hopefully by christmas we can get like 16k maybe even 20 if things hit right but guys thank you so much for coming out make sure to smash this like button can we get 500 likes in this video you guys have been killing the like button. I always tell you guys, you guys are crazy. Best fan base, in my opinion. You guys are great for me. Like, you guys are great for me. Not really too negative, very positive. But thank you guys for all that. But that's about it. Let's get into this video. Let's get over to the auction block. And we're going to start our quarterback, obviously. Now, quarterback, guys, there is a new... There's, there's just two. But there's a new king in my eyes. And, guys, he's pretty great. It might be beforehand, it was probably Andrew Luck and Lamar Jackson. Now, this guy I'm going to go because this guy is longer term. Andrew Luck is probably the best quarterback because of everything he can get. But right now, I got to give it. I think I got to give it to Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham right now is looking like a beastly quarterback, in my opinion. Now, I had Lamar Jackson before, right? Now, compared to Lamar Jackson, Randall Cunningham blows him away. They're both insanely fast. Randall Cunningham powered up in Kendrick's going to have like a 96, 97 throw power. He's going to be one of the hardest arms in the, league, in the, in the game. Great short accuracy after coming up and powered up. Medium accuracy is going to suck. But deep accuracy is going to be crazy high too. Throw under pressure is going to be above 90. Throw on the run is going to be high 90s. Play action is going to be in the 90s. This card overall is amazing. Good juke, good spin. I think Randall Cunningham is one of the best quarterbacks in the game, if not the best quarterback. And the only close second, if the if not just the best one, is going to be Andrew Luck. And that's because powered up and coming up, I believe he does end up getting like crazy abilities for what he is and he can get escape bar service he can get kind of everything he's like the jack of all trades quarterback and if you want the mobile jack of all trades quarterback you want to go with Randall Cunningham obviously so those are the two that I think that you know suffice for that now running back there is a new king also guys if I had to give you one it's gonna be tough because you guys are gonna hate me for this but I'm gonna go with two well for my one choice it's gonna be Barry Sanders Barry Sanders 93 speed 95 excel 95 agility 92 break tackle 92 elusiveness powered up in chem he's gonna have with all the athleticism stuff, you could potentially get a speed up to like a 96. An acceleration to a 99, for me at least. Agility to like a 98. Break tackle to a 94. Elusiveness to a 94. This card's crazy. It's gonna be the fastest guy in the game. And now a close second, if not a tied for first, which you guys are gonna eat me up in the comments for this probably. Eric Dickerson, again, powered up and camped up. He's gonna be pretty much just like Barry Sanders. He's gonna be a little bit stronger, but he's not gonna have the same excel as Barry Sanders. Now the excel and the elusiveness and the agility is what's like, is that's what changes it for me like i prefer to have that but if you guys are more power guys and you want to have some of the power stuff you can go eric dickerson by all means that's all your choice there now wide receiver there's also a new king michael irvin is the best wide receiver in the game he overtook randy moss it's not even close compared to randy moss i already know the stats he's faster than randy moss better jumping than randy moss better catching than randy moss better catch traffic than randy moss better spec catch than randy moss i'm pretty sure better short running than randy moss better medium running than randy moss and one less deep route running than Randy Moss. He's better at everything besides one less deep route running. And that's, that's my least of my concerns. You power this guy up, you come up, and you get a monster, as you guys can see on the right. This card's phenomenal. This Michael Irvin right here is an amazing card right here. This powered up Michael Irvin. Definitely the best wide receiver in the game. Great route runner, great crack, uh, catcher. And if I have to give you guys a close second that I would recommend, just because, not because of his, his stats, but because he's going to be glitchy. And obviously, you guys, I think every team needs to have a card just like this. I don't know how far down he'll be, but yeah, right here. He's 350k. Tyreek Hill. 
94 speed guys powered up this guy is a glitch i have him he's glitchy he breaks crazy plays i have return man he gets a lot of kick returns for me not much else to say i don't gotta spend too much time on him he's super fast super quick one of the fastest guys in the game you cannot go wrong having a tyree kill card on your team i think him and michael Irvin are the two receivers that you need to get you need to have at this point now tight end tight end i think we'll be getting upgrades soon so i don't want to go all in on one tight end just yet but for the time being as cheap as Gronk is, I think it's still George Kittle. This George Kittle fully powered up is going to have 86 speed with the right cams and everything on him. He could get like an 87, 88 speed. Going to have a bump, potentially get to like a 90 spec catch. Decently middle route, middle pack, route running. Great run blocking. Card overall is a jack of all trades with speed. You can't go wrong there. Now left tackle, like I said, not going to spend too much time. I don't think it's Joe Thomas. I think he's overpriced. I do factor in price when I do this too, if you guys didn't know. So if we're just going left tackle, price wise, we're going Munoz. Powered up and chemmed up does get pretty close to all 90, 90 passing and run blocking stats. So Munoz, I think, is the move at left guard. I mean, at left tackle. Left guard, I still think it's... No, you know, I can't go him. You know, price-wise, he's still not too bad. I'm going to have to go Gene Upshaw. Gene Upshaw, 220K. Not horrible. Powered up and chemmed up will get every threshold pretty much above a 90. Just about almost every stat will have is above 90. Powered up and chemmed up at the right. I think I'd probably put like... I mean, you could put pass, but I mean, zone run pretty good too. Either one will work for you guys. Now at center... You can't go wrong with Travis Reddick. This guy's a monster. Let me show you guys some powered up. Powered up Travis Reddick because I do have him. All above 90 running stats. Almost close to 90 pass stats. But on my team with all my chems and everything, he does get almost 90 everything besides pass block finesse. That's it. Travis Reddick's a monster. I can feel the difference when I run up the middle with him. At right guard. Right guard, there's not too many in the game yet. So you have to, you have to actually go down a little bit. But the right guard that you can choose still is crazy good for not too much of, of, of a premium. 230K, David DeCastro. Every stat will be above a 90 on, on the right team with the right chems. And it doesn't take much. Just put zone around him or power him up and you got it. You got it already. If you just power him up, you have it already. David DeCastro is a monster. Now, right tackle is a little bit harder. I'm not a fan of all the right tackles in the game. But I guess for the time being, Dan Deardorff or Ryan Ramzik are still the best. Deardorff gets all above 90 passing. And if you chem up and power him up, you will get above 90 run blocking most of all the stats, if not all. That's about it for the, the line. Again, I don't want to spend too much time. It's kind of boring. Let's get over to left end. So at left end, you guys got your opinions, right? Yeah, how do you guys say Ed Tuthal Jones? Whatever you guys want to say. But if you compare him to Ed Tuthal Jones, apparently he doesn't get great abilities either. But if you compare him to the guy I'm going to put, I'm going to put Joey Bosa. I put Joey Bosa at left end. And there's a reason for that. Right now, the game is about pass rushing and block shedding. I get that. I get that his block shed sucks. But honestly, for me, the end when it comes to running the running game, I mean, I've known they kind of just eat the block and my right outside linebackers and my linebackers kind of, with how fast the running backs are, the line, the defensive linemen don't really have a chance, right? By the time the running back is out of the backfield, he's just block shedding. In my opinion, what really matters is that they just fill the hole. You know, they, uh, they take the block on. My outside linebackers, my safeties, and my linebackers typically clean that up. So I don't mind that one, my, my left, my guy on my left end is can't block shit too much considering the other stats he has. He has 81 speed, 81 excel. Guys, if you put finesse specialist on him, which is a cool ability he gets with 97 finesse move, the second he gets past him, he can chase down anyone. See, a guy like Ed Tuthal Jones, he'll chase Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson with the skate bars can outrun him. He'll just give him a little pressure. Bose is fast enough where you might not even be able to outrun him. If he if gets you at the right angle, you're getting chased down. You're not going to be able to just do your little skate bars, crap, run around him. Also, if you're blitzing, right, and people have to make quick reads and they're waiting for someone to beat, like if they're not, if people aren't, don't have their eyes in the backfield, they're looking downfield. Bose is going to get there so fast that they're not going to have time. And also, with the way throwing the pressure works, he's going to get there so quickly that if they even get the ball off anyways, he's going to give him some pressure because he's going to get there quick enough. And powered up and chemmed up with the right chems, he's going to have 99 finesse move. So, what else can you say? 99 finesse move. He's one of the few guys that can actually get a 99 stat in this game without being on a theme team. So, take that for what it is, guys. I think Joey Bosa is definitely an awesome option. Now, defensive tackle, or right end, I should say, defensive tackle is next. At right end, it's Aaron Donald, hands down. This Aaron Donald right here, powered up and chemed up, is going to have above 80 speed, close to 90 excel. If you put a um, shaker on him, which I have, going to have high, high ass strength. Going to come close to 90 tackle, powered up and chemed up. Above 91 play rec, above 90 blocks, above 90 power. He's going to be great in the run game. Great pass rushing, great at everything. Aaron Donald's just a jack of all trades. He can do everything. He's a monster, and he gets good abilities. A defensive tackle, I mean, Darnold Dock is great, but I think John Henderson might be the more budget option because Darnold Dock does have good excel, good block shedding, good power move, and then John Henderson also has good block shedding, good power move, good play rec. Now, I'm going to give Darnold Dock the nod. Even though it's 100K more, he does have the 80 excel and the 75 speed, which is going to be a big difference because defensive tackles have, like, the quickest route to the quarterback right there. But once they get through... It's going to be great. Also, if the, if, the, if the running back runs near them, they could probably still get a tackle on them considering they're not entirely slow. 
The Stone of Dark is a monster. I highly recommend you pick him up. If I once I get coins, I probably end up picking him up for defensive tackle because he's kind of like an end. With those stats though, he's pretty much Aaron Donald. Those are the same athleticism stats as Aaron Donald, not the other stats, but he's gonna be great. He's gonna be like an end at defensive tackle. Now left outside linebacker. Another position that I think we need new we need new players at. Right now, I think I just dropped my water bottle. My bad. Um, right now as it is, left outside linebacker is not the best position. I'm not a fan of the cards we have available. For the time being, I still got to rock with Von Miller. Although, I don't recommend you go pick him up. I hope you guys have him already. But powered up and chemmed up. His block shedding is going to be above 90. His power move is going to be well above 90. His player X is going to be well above 90. Tackle above 90. Great speed and athleticism. Still one of the better pass rushers in the game. I still have to say just go with him because he was free for a lot of people at the time. Although, at this point, I recommend just waiting for a new left outside linebacker if you don't have him already. At middle linebacker, I have the two that I like. Not CJ Mosley. So, I have Ray Lewis. Is one of the top options 88 speed 88 excel 88 strike 93 tackle 93 play rec 90 block shed 93 hit power 69 zone coverage so obviously you probably want to use a ray lewis you don't want to leave him in the zone but ray lewis is going to be do everything or even leave him because he can play the run he's great at playing the run over the middle slants he forces fumbles he's great at tackling he's pretty athletic he's decently tall and then number two hopefully you guys have taken ryan chazier as your captain because ryan chazier at this point in 93 is almost insane he's about to hit 90 speed with shaker once i get shaker max out he actually will have above 90 speed Great excel, great tackle, great play rec, 86 zone. So with lockdown on him, if I put John Madden uh, pasty on him, he will get actually to a 90 zone coverage, which is pretty insane to say I have a 90 zone middle linebacker. So like, I don't want to use him anymore. I want to just leave him out in the open and play. And if you obviously can't afford, if you don't have any of those linebackers, they have dropped some other decent linebackers that you could put in place of him. Although I don't really recommend you buy the linebackers. I'd say just stick to Ray Lewis, Devin White, or Ryan Chazier if you guys haven't, if you don't have him already. Now, right as a linebacker, it's pretty simple. Simple, simple, simple. Considering the NFL 100, Lawrence Taylor is probably dropping this week come Friday. I recommend you guys get your Lawrence Taylor powered up as quickly as possible. Lawrence Taylor, not too expensive. 170K, you could probably filter him out for a little less. Guys, his next card is going to be absolutely, like, it's going to be great. It's going to be Hall of Fame, like, like it's going to be insane. His next card is going to get him probably above a 90 speed, powered up and chemmed up. Above 90 excel, above 90 strength, above 90 tackle, above 90 play rec with the right chems. Above 90 block shed and all above 90 pass rush. He's gonna have almost all above 90s at outside linebacker, which is gonna be crazy. Speed's gonna be unparalleled. He's gonna chase on every quarterback. He's gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to run away from him. He's gonna have great abilities, guys. Next Lawrence Taylor card is going to be amazing. I highly recommend you get on that, ooh, that bandwagon now before it's too late and everyone has him. You're getting destroyed by him. Cornerbacks, there's been quite a few cornerbacks this year. It's been kind of tough to actually decide on cornerbacks. Now, I think I have all the ones that I say you want, so I'm gonna show you guys from my binder. I have Dion, Nitrain Lane, and Denzel Ward. Those are the three that I like right now. Nitrain Lane, because he's got speed, excel, agility, jumping, play rec, zone man, press. He's tall. He has a 91 hit power, and he can return interceptions because he has like 90 juke and spin and good agility and elusiveness. Next, Denzel Ward. He's going to be one of the fastest of the bunch. On my team, he has like a 94 speed, great excel, great agility, great jumping, great man, great press. And good play rec. The zone's not all there, but again, he's a great blitzing corner, great slot corner, gonna be great to stand tight ends and, and you know running backs when I blitz. And then Deion Sanders, obviously, because he's, he's he's the prime time, he's the goat. He's got high speed, high excel, high agility, high jumping, high play rec, high zone, high man. The press sucks, but he's so athletic, I don't even care. He gets the job done for me, makes crazy plays. And again, all three of these guys, if they catch a pick, they're probably returning to the house with their speed. More so Deion than Nitro and Nitro Lane than Denzel Ward. But trust me, they're both they're all beasts in their own right. Now, free safety is another position that if you don't already have this guy, maybe you want to just wait at this point. I'm not a fan of these free safeties. I personally like, in my opinion, I think Brian Dawkins is the best free safety still. I'd rather just wait at this point for a new one, like a Sean Taylor if they end up getting him at some point. But powered up Brian Dawkins has speed, excel, decent height, good play rec, good pursuit, good zone, good hit power. It's pretty much all you can want in a free safety at this point in the game. I recommend you just stick with him. Don't fray away from that. And then I'm not going to go over strong safety because strong safety is Pat Tillman. And if you can't get Pat Tillman, you get the Adrian Amos. And then a kicker. I have Tucker, Punta, Treyway. I'm not going to go over all those because, again, I guess I feel like those are givens at this point. But that is about it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's see if we can get to 13K by tomorrow. That'd be crazy if we could. Comment down below if I, do you think I should put any other players on this list. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up to get to 500 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.